Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading for Wednesday, 27th of September 2017. Thank you everyone for all your comments and for watching the videos. Check out the weekly video as well, which runs from the 23rd of September to the 30th. That one is time stamped for each individual sign. I'm going back to the Mythic Tarot today. I'm feeling a little bit old school. Me and the Mythic Tarot, you know, we've been missing each other a bit. I think I might do a bit of Chuck Spezzano again. Can't stay away from Chuck Spezzano for long. Love his artwork, love his cards. Ooh. It's got to be you. As Harry Connick Jr. said. Hey, that's nice. have one more actually. Oh, <laughs> okay. Interesting vibe. Wednesday, peak of the week. Ten of Wands. Not bad though, actually. Rather like the Ten of Wands to a certain extent. Just as it is the peak of the week, we may be getting to the peak of what we can stand. There may be a situation that we've just had enough of. I mean, to say that this character is fed up, <laughs> it's a bit of an understatement. There's no need to go this far. Nevertheless, it's a feeling of, sometimes it can literally be one task too many, you know? It seems like nothing at the time to say, yeah, I'll go and pick that up for you, or I'll whiz out and do the thing on the car, or whatever it is. Sometimes that is just the final straw. So just be careful who you're promising what to on Wednesday or even leading up, you know, or for the rest of the week. Just be careful lest you should weigh yourself down like, you know, like this and just think, God, how did I get here? How did I get here? Why did I say yes? In fact, I go so far as to say no a bit more. Say no. You also get the Hierophant in the reverse, Major Arcana. Now, for some of us on Wednesday, I'm getting a very worky vibe about this. Hierophant is institutions and for some of us it's like if you work for the council, civil service, the government, some kind of corporation, you know, a big, a big faction, a big corporation that has a big ethos. When it's in the reverse, it can sometimes mean they're sitting on you a bit hard. Hence the Ten of Wands. Literally, you could have work piling up that you just literally can't get through. It could be just not being straight with you about takeovers, restructuring. Restructuring of a nature that... There used to be eight people in this department doing this amount of work and now there's going to be five people in this department who are magically going to do the work that those eight people did before but they're going to work smarter. I think we all know what that smells like. <laughs> and as my mum said, if it looks like and it smells like, then it is. That's what I get for that. Some of us, this could be the straw that does break the camel's back. It could be one demand too many. And I think that that can only be a good thing. Who needs to live in oppression anyway? And to a certain extent, I know not everybody even likes their job, to be honest. But it's better not to wake up feeling like, you know, when the first thing you think on Friday is, well, it's only two days and then I'll be back again. It's that kind of dread, not even Sunday night dread, but going on Friday afternoon dread. If you've reached that point, and then they're gonna heap a bit more on you, maybe it's time to say adios to that one. Because also you get here the Nine of Cups, which is a lovely, lovely card. It's an emotional wish card. It's kind of 
of wish is fulfilled as well. If you're looking for something else, if you're looking for something better, particularly if you're looking for something that is better paid, that you will like more, that's closer to your heart, this is a really, really nice card to get. Really nice card to get. Because we get it along with Ace of Pentacles. Big fish, big pentacle. See his fishy tail? I think this is Neptune. I think that's what they call him. Gonna have to have a look now. Pentacles. Pretty sure it is, because what other guy in the Greek mythology is gonna have a fishy tail, Gemma? Poseidon. <laughs> I think that is Neptune, isn't it? Not sure. Some of you will know though. Let me know if you know. Is Poseidon Neptune? Probably not. Yeah. On a divinatory level, the Ace of Pentacles augurs the possibility of material achievement. You see, I don't say augurs, but I wish I had. Lush. Next time you're going to hear me say, now this card augurs the possibility of material achievement. Or if you're going for that pay rise, or if they walk in one more time and tell you what to do, you could say, but does that augur for the possibility of more material achievement? If not, jog on. <laughs> there you go. I've given you a polite way of putting it so you don't have to do that. None of us need to be doing that. There is better out there for everyone. Let's see what Chuck Spezzano's Enlightenment cards say. Starting to really like these cards. I've had them a few days now. They're bedding in. They're on the sequin tarot table instead of in the cupboard. They know what that means. Ooh. Gosh, this card has come up so many times. Third time it's come up today in all the readings that I've done. And they are really well shuffled. Innocence and Grace, number 41. It's a nice card. Lush. Oh, I like this a lot. The healing recognition of your own and others' spirituality and perfection. If you receive this card today, Wednesday, the peak of the week, that's me, not him, you are asked to look at yourself through God's eyes or whatever you understand God to be. God or the higher power being perfect sees only our spirit and perfection yet allows our higher mind to help correct and heal our mistakes. You're being asked to let yourself be freed by innocence and to let those around you be freed by it also. The grace of innocence is, to, is trying to come to you today, if only you would let it. Free yourself and the world from judgment and suffering. Innocence is the way through. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. I also want Colette Baron Reed to go with that. Give, give, give. I think also if you're in that situation at work and they're not doing the right thing by you, again, that is to let go of judgment. You can set yourself free. You have the Nine of Cups. You have Poseidon with his fishy tail and his big pentacle and his rather good beard, which makes him look like a kind of a hipster. See? what the kids are all doing these days isn't it that one. Oh yes you get happy happy and there's a key so that's the key to it that's the key to being happy as well is being innocent making decisions on a very innocent basis without judgment and without blame but also if you're thinking of innocence in terms of children, with that kind of childish, childish self-interest, which is, I think, very pure. You know when you try and get children to share toys and they don't want to? That's how everybody really feels, isn't it? <laughs> oh, healing with the angels oracle cards. 
nice. Healing. Innocence is healing. Happy, happy is healing. Enchantment. Find something that makes you curious and see if you can earn money from that. However small, because little acorns and all that stuff, that message is just for a few people, but I know someone's hearing that. There you go. If you want a private reading, book in the description box below and hit the subscribe button, people. And I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.